Summit League Volleyball is ramping up for the season and both South Dakota and South Dakota State are getting into practice and getting ready for their non-conference schedule. Both are looking to rebound from one and outs in the Summit League tournament last season with the competition in the league ramping up as well. Down in Vermillion, the Yotes are breaking in a new playing surface for 2024 with new faces and new leaders on the court as well. Head coach Leanne Williamson says last year was a down year for the Yotes, but the team is looking to come back in 2024 with more experience. The goal, of course, is to get back into contention with the league leaders and make it deep into the conference tournament. Of course, she says, everyone else is getting better as well, and they need to be ready for whatever league competition throws at them. I think the conference is getting better. Um, I think there was a lot of, I think every night was a challenge. There was no easy matches, and that's what we want it to be. We want the Summit League to continue to grow. We want it to become more challenging. Um, that's how you know our league on the national scale gets better as well, which is gonna help us individual programs as well. The Coyotes start their season on the 24th playing Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls. Their first home match is September 13th against Montana State in the South Dakota Classic. Meanwhile, up in Brookings, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits are working from the same end to their season last year, but are looking for new recruits and returners to help bolster a new effort. Head coach Dan George Alice says the emphasis on recruiting this offseason and shoring up players who are coming back is going to help them get a better start to the season in 2024 and success breeds success if they're able to build a team that can compete with the top this year. Our recruiting is really good. Um, we returned Sylvia Zagans, freshman of the year and first team all conference. Um, we returned Sydney Shutnin, our, our transfer from the University of Louisville. The seven players that we retained from last season are such a good core group that we were able to build around them, uh, not only positionally, but attract the type of player who wants to be a part of the momentum we have. SDSU opens their season with an exhibition against the University of Sioux Falls on the 23rd. Their Jackrabbit Invitational is at the Sanford Pentagon with their first game September 19th against Idaho State.